What's going on, everybody? New Spidey is entering the arena in less than nine minutes, and that means don't have much time for this video. But I want to do just a little bit of last-minute prep to get myself ready to grind for Spidey, basically. So, uh, first thing is I just want to pop open a five-star crystal. Yeah, I would love to pop open more than one, but I only have one to pop open. And I'm just hoping that I get a new five-star champion. Uh, okay, there's a bunch of blank ones in there. I don't know, don't know what that means exactly, but yeah, basically, I'm just, I'm just looking for any new champion here. Uh, if I get another new five star, that'll give me an even set of, uh, of teams, and uh, yeah, just more points overall. So, of course, looking for that new five star. Let's see what happens. Let's see what I get. Come on, anybody, take the, the worst of the worst. Don't care who it is. That's well, I mean. I already have him, he's not a new champion, but it's kind of interesting to add some sick levels to this guy since he is uh, getting buffed very soon, so, okay, not a new champion, but uh, I will take it. Uh, I did have a few uh, Grandmaster Crystals here as well, I've never gotten a 5 star out of these things, and maybe I'm due because of that, because I have popped open, I mean, not a lot, only the ones from the free calendar, but it's been a while now, so uh, let's just pop all three of these. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, um, so, just all three stars, alright. Uh, well, I don't think there's any uh, other realistic way for me to get a five star, so I guess the next thing to do is, uh, I'm gonna pop open my map six and seven crystals just to, you know, see what I have to work with. Don't have a ton of these things since hasn't been that long since uh, I was kind of prepping for uh, the last grind here, so, uh, hoping for these tier four basics. Let's see, did I get any uh, fully formed? Oh, whoa, I think that's a fully formed. Tier 2 Alpha, unless I totally missed it. Uh, no, that should be a fully formed Tier 2 Alpha. I think it's my first time ever doing that. Um, wow, okay. Well, that's cool. Uh, Alright, let's pop open the Map 7 Crystals real quick as well. 43 of these guys. And that should be a fully... Or not fully formed, but I... Uh, okay, looks like I'm on the verge of forming one. Here we go. This time it should be a formed tier 4 basic. Uh, hopefully I can pull uh, another just straight up tier 4 basic because I'm not going to be able to form another one. Okay, looks like I got about 4,000 tier 5 basic fragments as well. And nope, didn't pull a full one. Uh, I'm close to getting another, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. Alright, let's see what I'm working with. Really running low on time now. Have to make these rank up decisions. Uh, very quick here because I do not want to miss the start of the arena. Alright, so I have 10 tier 4 basic. Uh, I definitely have enough tier 1 alpha to work with. I have a few tier 1 alpha in the overflow. Um, okay, let's see what we can do. First thing is I actually ranked up a uh, my 5 star Gulk a little while ago. Uh, and I, I didn't want to actually give him the, uh, the levels just because uh, I was waiting for a level up event to begin. And uh, I did have some uh, resources expiring, so I wanted to uh, feed that into, uh, or, or just, you know, rank up Golk and then get back to actually leveling him up at a later time. Um, Alright, I hate the way auto-select works. It doesn't select the biggest ones first, and it makes it harder to not go over, so yeah, we'll do it this way. Alright, so now Gulk is actually rank 3 level 45 instead of rank 3 level 1. That's as far as I'm taking him today, but uh, let's go find another champion to rank up real quick. Looking at my overflow stash here, uh, I have some tech and still some science catalyst in the overflow. Um, so I want to rank up these champions first, these class types first. Uh, so let's find a, a tech champion to rank up. And I could go with a 4 star, but... Uh, none of these champions that are rank 4 are champions I want to take to rank 5. It would be cool to rank up like a Darkhawk or a Sentinel or something, but it would just take too many resources right now. So, move over to the 5 stars, and uh, we got to pick quick. I'm, I'm going to go Vulture. Let's do a, uh, a Vulture rank up and knock out these resources real quick. Alright, there we go. Vulture is rank 3 level 45 as well. 
and I am definitely not taking this dude to rank four. Uh, oh man, we're really running out of time here. All right, let's find some some quick rank ups. You know what? I'm not even gonna worry about ranking up a science champion right now. Instead, uh, what I'm gonna do is sort this by lowest rank. I've got three champions up here: Dramamo Falcon and Nightcrawler that are rank uh, one at the moment, and I would like to get them to rank two. So uh, let's just go with Dramamo first. All right, Dramamo, going to rank two, bud. There we go, Jamamu, rank 2, level 35. Alright, we got time for one more, I think. Uh, we got about a minute left before this arena begins. Uh, and rank up another one of the 5 stars to rank 2. That'll be pretty good. Uh, and let's go with G, either Falcon or Nightcrawler. You know what, I think I'm going to go... No, I can't do Nightcrawler, actually, because I don't have any Mutant ISO. Uh, so it is going to have to be Falcon, alright. Well, Falcon, today's the day, man. On account of not having any mutant ISO from just ranking up Namor recently, uh, you are now going to get ranked up. And, uh, yeah, this will be the final rank up. Alright, there we go. Falcon is now ranked 2, and it is exactly arena time, arena starting time. So, uh, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Oh, man, it would have been cool if I could have ranked up that Nightcrawler too. I have the tier 4 basics, but... Yeah, I gotta get my grind done, man. Whew. Okay, now that some time has passed, I've got all my champions on cooldown and everything, I could slow down a little bit, take a deep breath, and explain why I want to grind for Stealth Spidey. What makes this dude special? I don't really know what makes him special. Uh, apparently, you know, people have been uh, kind of comparing him to uh, Stark Spidey, and most people feel that Stark Spidey is the better of the two Spideys. Now, of course, it's all situational, and I'm sure in some situations, uh, the stealth suit Spidey here is going to be better than Stark Spidey. But just kind of, you know, quickly uh, going, like, you know, just glancing over this guy's abilities, because I haven't really read them all with a fine tooth comb here or anything like that, but uh, just kind of glancing over his abilities, I do agree with, uh, you know, most people's assessment that if you're going to use a Spidey, you're probably going to be using Stark Spidey over this guy. Um, but I do think he has some interesting things about him. Number one, he's a skill champion. Uh, I don't really have too many strong skill champions at the moment. Uh, my only rank 5 is Thor Ragnarok, which he sucks. Uh, I do have a rank 4 Nick Fury. He's probably my strongest skill champion, um, along with a rank 4 Gwenpool. So I've got a few okay ones, but... Uh, you know, I'm just looking to, to kind of boost my, my, my roster here. And Spidey, he doesn't play with bleeds, right? Like, those other champions, they're, they're bleed base. And if I'm fighting, you know, someone who has an advantage against bleeds or something like that, you know, I don't really want to be in that situation. So it'd be cool to have uh, a character that just, you know, it's just physical damage that is being dished out instead of, um, you know, needing them to be vulnerable to bleeds. Uh, for me to kind of get the maximum effect out of him. So, you know, it'd be cool just to get uh, a, a, a better skill champion to, to kind of round out my, my skill roster. Um, and I'm hoping that Stark Spidey can be that champion. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm going for him. The other reason is that he's very high prestige. And I can't rank him up right away. Uh, you know, or, or not, not prestige-wise, at least. I don't have the signature stones to, to, you know, get him to SIG 200 or anything like that. But he is number five currently in the game. He's the fifth highest prestige. And if Kabam opens up the way players get five-star SIG stones, or, you know, maybe the Cyber Monday deal rolls around and there's, you know, a bunch of SIG stones available in those offers, something like that, and I can actually get some SIG stones, well, it'd be nice to have this champion you know, kind of just ready to go to, uh, you know, to rank up and, and you know, increase my prestige. Because uh, prestige, it's seeming like it's still going to be the name of the game when it comes to Marvel Counts of Champions right now, at least. Uh, I, it's hard to tell. I mean, the, the war rewards, we don't know all of them yet. We don't know what the individual win-loss rewards are going to be, but a lot of people took a look at the seasonal rewards and said, huh, well, you know, not going to compete at the highest level and just going to keep pushing an alliance quest. So it'd be nice to have this guy just kind of in my back pocket uh, and able to rank him up, you know, whenever I can. So that's the second reason why I want to go for this guy. And the third reason is that uh, he's got some really cool synergies. Uh, specifically this top synergy here with Iron Man Infinity War, where it increases the duration uh, of incinerate and plasma effects by 50%. 
And Infinity Man has always been a champion that I, I kind of liked and kind of didn't. And the part that I didn't like about him was that I really did feel like the, the, the plasma and the incinerate, but mostly the plasma, uh, it just didn't last long enough. And I felt like if it lasted a bit longer, uh, it'd be easier to, to kind of stack up the damage with him. And he already has some pretty cool utility. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to hopefully get to try that out. Uh, and of course, I need the five-star version of Stealth Spidey uh, to be able to use that synergy in Act 6, which is where I want to try using Infinity Man a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the game plan there. Uh, his other synergies, uh, they may have some uses, I, I don't really know, but uh, you know that is a big reason why I want to go for him, is just to try out that, that synergy with Infinity Man. Uh, my, you know, my tech... My tech uh, roster and my skill roster, they're probably my, the two weakest class types for me. Um, you know, I, I have, uh, at least I do have Stark Spidey for tech, but I am missing a lot of the other popular tech champions that other players have. So it'd be cool. I mean, you know, maybe I could potentially use my, my tech rank up gem on Infinity Man if it ends up being uh, a, a really powerful synergy or something like that. Who knows? Uh, but I'm looking forward to testing it out at least. So. That is why I'm going for Stealth Spidey. Hope that makes sense. Uh, I, I, again, I don't know how good he actually is. He's a super glass cannon. That's kind of his big uh, drawback right now about him. He has less than 25,000 uh, base health. And if we look at his stats here, well, his block proficiency is about 10% uh, lower than the average. So, yeah, pretty low. But hopefully some of his other abilities make up for that. Or some of the other utility in here does. Um... And yeah, I don't know how high he's going to go for. He's, again, he's got super high prestige. Uh, and of course, he is a, a popular character. Just any anytime like a you know, new Spider-Man comes out, I'm sure there's a lot of Spider-Man fans that want to go for this guy. So uh, we'll have to see if I can put up the score needed to get him. But uh, for now, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.